Welcome to the Our channel everyone, it's that time, Black Armor is here, and everybody wants to get those new weapons. So we for this no video, I'm going to show you what I did to get the machine gun done, and the fastest way I thought would be to actually get that stuff filled out. For the first step, you need to kill the high value target to get the weapon core, and you need to get the compound ether from fallen enemies. Now the best place to do this will be on the outskirts on the EDZ. You want to spawn in on trust land and head over that way. Now once making your way to the outskirts, you want to head towards the broken bridge down in the bottom right corner of the EDZ map. Now this spot here, where I'm at now, this is actually going to be the location of where the high value target spawns. But once you get here, basically you just want to kill some fallen. You need 25 of them to get your compound ether. Now it doesn't matter which high value target you kill in order to get your core, just as long as it's one of the new ones. And I go to the outskirts to do it because you can get the fallen as you're waiting for the high value target. Now in the bottom left hand corner of the screen where you see a forged Saboteur has spawned, you know the high value target is coming. Now in order to kill this high value target, these little blue orby things that's kind of floating around it, you need to kill them to drop the shield. Then once the shield's down, you just lay everything you have into it. Now if you stop damaging for a while, his shield will come back and you'll have to kill those things again. Now this guy is pretty healthy and he does take quite a bit of damage, but if there's a couple of you guys there, it should be pretty easy. Now once killing him, these chests that are sitting here, this is where you're going to actually get your core. Just shoot the blue things to drop the shield and open one up and you'll get your core. Now it doesn't matter which one you get, there should be three of them spawned around the area. Just either one will work for you. Now the next step is going to be power weapon hive kills and power weapon multi kills. Now there's plenty of people that have been trying to do this on the escalation protocol, which it's fine, but there is way too many people trying to do it at this time. So the best place for me was the core terminus lost sector on Mars. Now I found the grenade launcher for doing this was the best weapon to use. You can use you know a sword or a machine gun, something where you're gonna get a lot of ammo. Basically you're just gonna run into the lost sector, you're gonna get into where the ads spawn. You know, get your double kills, and they are hive, so you're gonna get your hive kills too. Best part about doing it this way, guys, is you are gonna use your heavy, and you're gonna run out, but that's fine. When you're out of heavy, all you have to do is go back to orbit, spawn back in, and then go through the lost sector again, and just rinse and repeat until you have all your multi kills and all your hive kills. Now each time you go to orbit and then you come back into Mars, you will spawn again with heavy. Now for me, this only took me three times of rinsing and repeating, and I had everything done. Now for the next step guys, there's going to be a couple of different ways you can do it. It's going to be for powerful enemies. Now there are plenty of people doing this on the escalation protocol also. Now personally, I didn't do the escalation protocol with just too many people. Now I went to the Leviathan Raid with the Whisper, and when you first spawn in, there are those eight majors. Now I killed those eight majors, went back to orbit, and then came back in until I had all the ones I needed. Again, doing it this way, you don't have to worry about heavy, because you're going to kill these first ones, and then when you go to orbit and come back in, you're going to spawn back in with more heavy. Now for the final part, you're going to need to collect resonant seeds from killing the majors. Now this is the only part that I actually use escalation protocol for, and the only reason I did it is because it doesn't matter if you kill them or if somebody else does, as long as you're in the area, resonant seeds will drop from them. And the bosses at the end of each level of the escalation protocol drop a crap ton of the seeds. That's all I got for you guys in this video. I hope it helps you out. I hope it makes your life a little bit easier when you're going for those high kills and those power weapon double kills. Also guys, if it helps you out, go ahead and give it a like. Feel free to share it. And newcomers to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more D2 content like this.